Welcome back, everybody. I was supposed to do a Facebook Live on Blackstone's Facebook this morning, but I didn't think anybody in the family would have wanted to hold the phone for me. So I'm out here on the back porch. Things have warmed up a teeny bit, and I'm gonna make a manly hamburger. Let's start cooking. Blackstone 28 inch Pro Series on high. Here we go folks, real time. I found these at Walmart back before the pandemic, about a month ago. Dr. Pepper baked beans. So what's wrong with that? Woo! Got a little Blackstone cast iron dish here. Let me put those in there. And another one. Let me grab my spoon here. There we go. Now immediately I noticed that my cast iron is super, super duper hot. So I'm gonna turn this burner down all together. And we're gonna take these baked beans and shove them right over here in the corner. Just like that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, folks, next up. Got a little blend of canola and olive oil here. Tell you what, I'm running super hot, so I'm going to turn these burners down maybe halfway or so. And I have a mixture of diced onion, and these are shishito peppers. I don't have any jalapeno on hand, but I did buy some shishito for a stir-fry recipe. Also, minced garlic. Here we go, folks. So when I'm making a recipe, or when I think of a recipe, a lot of times I get in a different kind of mood. And today I was just in the mood for a really manly hamburger. Here we go, folks. I'm going to try not to say folks too much, but that's going to be tough. A little more of that canola oil right in there on the peppers. Mm. Looking nice, folks. Those are looking good. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to these peppers here in a second. I'm going to grab the bowl that they were in. I'm going to take these and scoot them over here and put them right back in there. So I just got a little bit of a sweat in on those onion, peppers, and garlic. Maybe a, a light saute, if that's a word. Put those right down there, folks. Folks, there I go, I said it again. Liquid smoke, we gotta do it again, Milt. I love that liquid smoke. So put that right there, hickory. That's my favorite, hickory liquid smoke. Mix that up. So we have these delicious onions. Hopefully that's coming through. Hopefully you can see those shishito peppers and garlic with a little liquid smoke and then uh, meanwhile if you can see them yeah baked beans the dr pepper baked beans are right back there in that corner those are looking perfect go ahead and scoot these right back here right alongside the baked beans back over here olive oil and canola mixture pick these up at walmart found these last year on tour and they're really good, folks. Um, there I go with folks again. Prime rib patties. Prime rib. So, man, that sounds manly to me. That sounds like a nice Texas-style burger. Shoo, we got the olive oil in there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So when I'm making burgers, I like to think of different themes. I saw Texas toast in the store the other day. So what I'm shooting for here is a nice steakhouse style of burger, a nice Texas toast burger, a manly burger. One of my all time favorite burger seasonings, hands down. I've been using this stuff for close to 15 years. High Mountain's Hickory Burger Seasoning. Shout out to Brian Tucker. This is an older bottle. I've had this for several years. But, mm, oh, a great smokehouse, hickory smokehouse flavor on there. 
And a few more of those patties over here. Mm. <sighs> yes. Real deal, folks. Cooking in real time. I'm loving this. It's more fun to do. Lots of times people ask me, how do I know that that took this long? Or it confused me because when you cook it, here it is. You can see it as it's happening. Burgers looking good over here. Baked beans over here in the corner. And over here we have, got my knife, our onions and peppers. Those are just chilling out and the beans are going to start to get a nice simmer. I'm going to go ahead and try it here off camera. Try the beans to see where we're at, to see if we're getting close to a simmer or not. We are close to a simmer. And those taste really nice, by the way. I can taste that Dr. Pepper flavor in there. Come back to your... Check out our patties. We're getting close to a good sear on these folks. Found some pepper jack cheese in the refrigerator, so that's going to go nicely on there. Mm. What can we talk about here? Uh, griddle Mortor. Man, that really stinks that uh, Griddle Mortor was postponed, right, folks? So, again, just know. It is our intent to restart the Griddle More Tour at one point. We don't know what's going on in the nation. So whenever things are going to get back to maybe the new normal, we're going to make plans and kickstart that tour again, God willing. And we'll see what happens because I definitely miss being on the road with everybody. Real life, folks. One of our dog's hair, one of Piper's hairs back there on the burger. And these are almost ready to turn. Blackstone. Business as usual uh, at Blackstone with the fact that most people are, are working out of their house now. So, forging along, sales are still extremely good. So, shout out to everybody that's been buying a Blackstone. Uh, things haven't stopped at all. So what a huge blessing. This is a personal thing from me right here. Shout out to all of you folks. We really appreciate you. And I know I speak for the entire company when I say that. Mm. We'll get a nice sear on the bottom of these. Maybe I'll just press them down a little bit. I'm not smashing them. Don't get all bent out of shape, folks. I don't even participate in those crazy smash burger versus a regular burger arguments. I like all types of burgers. You see that or not? We have snow. Snow is falling from the trees and hitting the griddle. So these are going to be, um, I guess you would say marinated. <laughs> they're, they're snow kissed. Oh, those look good. All right, I think we can go ahead and flip those. Gorgeous. Gorgeous little sear. Look at that, folks. That is what you want a burger to look like right there. Mm, 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 mm. Now, it's up to you whether or not you want to season the second side. Typically, I season both sides of my burgers, but I do, I am going to add a lot of other things today with the onions and the garlic and that liquid smoke and all that. So I think maybe we'll just leave these like that. We'll go ahead and put the, uh, hopefully I cut enough. Oh, I didn't bring enough cheese. That's fine, because not everybody likes uh, pepper jack in my family. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll leave four of those without, and we'll make three of these double. <laughs> a lot of snow falling down. Double pepper jack. Come over here and get our onions peppers and garlic and I'm going to put that right down on top of one of these and that's also going to help to melt that cheese quicker. We can use the hood, we can use a uh, basting cover, we can use a bunch of things to melt the uh, cheese but these super hot onions and peppers are going to help. Put those on some of these so 
We have, uh, my wife and I have six kids, and they all don't want onions on there, although most of them will eat them. So let's just put those right over there like so. Let's get rid of this for now. Burgers are looking good over here. In fact, let's see if we can see that or not. No, you're not going to see that. So we'll leave those right there. <laughs> Beans are good. Let's give them another try. I think they're close to the finale. Beans are delicious. A platter of buttered Texas toast. Funny thing about Texas toast, well, up until a couple weeks ago, I traveled and cooked for a living, and <laughs> now I'm at home. But when I travel across the country, Texas is one of the hardest places to find Texas toast. What's up with that? So I cook on Texas toast and I get it all around the country, but for some reason I don't see as much of it in Texas as I do in other states. Uh, buttered on one side, gonna get a nice toast on the Texas toast. So Texas toast, perfect way to make your burger a little bit different. In my opinion, it gives it that perfect steakhouse type of look, maybe a Texas look. And uh, it just, it's nice, you know, you, you make the same kind of hamburger on the same bun every day. So when in doubt, I love to go Texas toast. When in doubt? No, well, whenever possible, I like to go Texas toast. <sighs> toast is looking good. Butter is melting and we're gonna get uh, to toasting soon. Make sure my condiments, I'm looking over my shoulder over there to see if my condiments are ready. We're good there. Mm. Those are looking good. I'm gonna put them over here in the corner. Grab the rest of my Texas toast. Look at that. That is a nice looking piece of Texas toast. I'll shuffle these around. Uh, one thing I like about the griddle and old timers, you've been around for a long time, you've heard me say this over and over and over and over. Making bread, toasting bread on the griddle is where it's at because everything comes out cooked to golden perfection. So again, my right burner, three burners, all the way off, and over here we're on medium-ish. I'm just gonna flip these toasts. As soon as they're done, since they're toasted on one side, I'm gonna flip them. Ooh, that's a good looking one right there. And keep shuffling them around. I can do this with my hand because I'm here at the house and my family doesn't care. snow is falling down. These burgers are looking good over here. I'm just going to give these a flip and then flip them right back just to get that blood off the top. Straight back over here. Oh, you see that? No, the snow is falling down on top of my Texas toast. Oh, that one's perfect. I'm gonna flip it right there. That one's perfect. Oh, 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 I know I'm not supposed to ah, hot. zoom in on these when I'm doing a live, but I really, really want you to see those toasts there. Hopefully you can pick up what I'm putting down. And straight back to where we were before. Flipping toast. That one's not quite ready. That one's really ready. That one is perfect. Just shuffling toast. Just moving it around. That one looks good. <laughs> it's hot. You have to be careful when you're lifting. I almost said, folks, when you're lifting stuff off the griddle, everybody. I've been doing this my whole life. And stuff is hot. So you want to be careful. You want to make sure you're not burning yourself. If you can, avoid it. So those are good. The burgers are good over here. I think we're just about ready 
to serve one of these up. Okay, I'm pulling things off the griddle over here. Let's grab our bottom piece of Texas toast. That is beautiful. Got a little bit of mayo going down on there. This is the olive oil mayo. I've always liked the olive oil mayo. Right down like that. Some barbecue sauce. I mentioned this in a video a couple weeks ago. I'm all about the boutique uh, barbecue sauces. I've used Fat Boy All Natural for about uh, 15 years. But Hunt's just started making this smoked line. They use sugar and not high fructose. It is so good. There's three or four flavors. I'm using the hickory cracked pepper today. Straight down there on top of that mayo. A bed of ice cold, and you better believe it's ice cold today, folks. A bed of ice cold shredded iceberg lettuce. Oh, that prime rib. Can I say that again? That prime rib burger patty. Got to find the perfect piece of toast to put on top of that. That one's not bad. Let's put that down right there on top. We'll do it like this so you can see it. That is the Dr. Pepper baked beans. Take a look at that. The manliest prime rib burger around. Let's give it a try. I forgot that in the last video and somebody called me out. Texas toast, winner, winner. Prime rib, different flavor. Hickory smoke in that hickory burger seasoning. In that barbecue sauce. In the liquid smoke. It's not too much hickory, it's just perfect. Dr. Pepper baked beans in my mouth is still full, but we're going in. I kind of spit there. I don't know if you saw that or not. <laughs> live video. Semi-live. Delicious, everybody. Thank you for watching. Just wanted to do a fun video this afternoon since I couldn't do a live video with Blackstone this morning. Oh yeah, shout out to uh, the Operating Engineers 178 down in Dallas, Fort Worth. Mac and the boys. Shout out to Kevin up in Casper, Wyoming. Shout out to all my followers. I appreciate you so much. Again, a shout out from Blackstone to all of you. And until next time, this is Todd. And I'm saying praise the Lord and pass the manly burger.